we've got Mendelssohn's Aristotle Purgesnacht. Now here is a work that is actually about religious tolerance. There's a poem by Goethe, and the poem harkens back to the Druids, a storied people, and a historic people. They want to practice their religious rites, yet if they do, they're in a Christian context, and they will be put to death. So the problem is, how do we get what we need? And the answer is, oh, well, let's make it look like we're actually having a witch's Sabbath here with people on brooms, and let's just play it big, and we'll scare off those Christians who would put us to death because they're going to be afraid that the devil's at work here. And of course, the subtext is the devil's not at work. But we're in this period of the Enlightenment, and we have Mendelssohn working out Goethe's text and working out these ideas about tolerance or intolerance. The orchestra plays a major role in this, in creating the scenery. Think Midsummer Night's Dream. I've also got four soloists who are, by the way, alto, tenor, baritone, and bass, playing specific characters. So this is really a mini-drama, a mini-telling of a story. I think one of the issues with Walpurgisnacht is that it actually had been discounted because it was a shorter work by many people, and it's only really much more recent scholarship that has pointed out how important this piece was to Mendelssohn, and as a result has made possible really scholarly editions. So it's only, ironically, in our time that a work that is of this great importance to Mendelssohn, and we know now it was very important to him, can really get its rightful play.